I did psychology, history and maths and I got three A stars. I studied chemistry, biology and psychology and my results were A star in psychology and A in biology and a B in chemistry. I think it's a bit annoying because you're never quite sure how the exam would have gone but I think in the end it all worked out alright. At the beginning I was really quite disappointed because um, I thought it's like it, 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 you sort of miss out the opportunity to show how like how you've improved from your especially from your mocks and beforehand and you miss the opportunity to sort of prove all of you everything you've learnt um, but it's kind of worked out okay for me we had a nice long break so um, mixed feelings really <laughs> I think there was always emails telling us what was going on and up to sort of when the exams were definitely cancelled we have we had stuff to do and keep us busy which was really nice. I was really good in sending out um, lots of work at the beginning and it kept kept my mind fresh as well I think if we had just stopped doing any work whatsoever I would have got really bored during that period so that was really useful as well we just kept ticking over like on all of my subjects and then afterwards they did a uni um, sort of bridging courses so I did a medical sciences bridging course which I found really interesting and there were lots of subjects related to veterinary and also medicine and it was really interesting to sort of do that for six weeks. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to UCL to study law. I'm going to study veterinary medicine at the Royal Veterinary College in London. I'm really looking forward to studying law because it's just a different subject, I've never done it before, so I think that'll be exciting. I'm really looking forward to sort of being a bit more independent, especially living in halls and um, cooking for yourself and sort of having a lot more of an independent kind of lifestyle as well. There's always been lots of focus on sort of broadening your knowledge, whether it's within your subject or outside, and I think that's really useful. And also encouraging you to look into what you're interested in. Well, like I said before, with the bridging courses, I think that was a really useful um, tool to sort of expand on um, our knowledge that we already had. And also, um, they did like cooking competitions as well, like getting ready um, for uni cooking. So I did a couple of those as well. And just like um, all the support in school and sort of like the emails that they keep sending out and um, like the pastoral kind of mental health support I think has really helped as well. I think I'll just miss just being at school. During lockdown it's been really hard not seeing everyone every day. It's been a big part of my life. I really miss the sort of bubble of life at Freeman's and all of the all of my friends as well hopefully we'll all keep in contact um, and the teachers as well I'm gonna miss sort of because I guess it's a bit different at uni it's not so much like you don't have that kind of relationship with your lecturers as you did um, with the teachers so I'll miss that too. There's been so many different memories but definitely during sixth form becoming head of school that was definitely a highlight. Definitely the colour run that I did in lower six I found that really fun and that was a really good way to sort of integrate and mix with everyone else. Um, just like the lunches, like day to day lunches and walking between classes uh, and just like having a laugh. <laughs> I think just the workload. There's lots of work but at the end it pays off and we all get the grades that we want which is nice. I think at the beginning I was a bit unsure, obviously it's sort of scary moving school um, but Freeman sort of helped welcome me in and everyone was really friendly so I overcame that. Always work as hard as you can because as this year's proven your work is always going to be looked at so it's good to get going early and make sure that you put yourself in the best position for the exam. My advice to next year is to um, keep on top of your notes it's uh, yeah that's really important I struggled keeping on top of them um, and it just meant there was a mass to do especially before mocks in January um, I found that really stressful so if you keep on top of your notes as you go that is so helpful and also when you're opening your results definitely open your UCAS track first to see if you've got into uni before opening what your actual grades are because my entry requirements were three A's which I didn't get so if I'd opened my 
um, school-based results first, I would have been really disappointed. But if you open your UCAS track, and I saw I got in, so 